What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's REI Deal Breakdown. Today, I'm going to talk about four Lori Lane, Poughkeepsie, New York. I don't know the zip code off the top of my head, but it's four Lori Lane, Poughkeepsie, New York. Once again, I don't know the zip code, but this is a great deal. This was an absolute smoking wholesale deal that we double closed. And uh, I want to tell you all about the deal. How did I find it? What was the, the, the scenario with the seller? And um, I'm ready to rock and roll in this video. So if you do get value from this video, if you're on YouTube, if you could subscribe to my channel and like the video, it would really mean a lot to me. Once again, if you could subscribe, if you get value and like the video, it would really mean a lot to me. I want to grow this damn channel to impact a lot of people. So my goal is to get to 90 or not 90. My goal is to get to 1,000 subscribers within 90 days. Best way to do that is if you can help me by simply just subscribing and liking the video. So if you're not familiar with me, my name is Greg Helbeck. I've bought well over 100 houses in my five and a half year real estate investing career. I've learned a lot of lessons the easy way and a lot of lessons the hard way. And the goal of this video or all these videos is to make the lessons um, in video format so you can watch them and you know make some money, right? Whether you're a beginning investor or you're a new investor looking to grow your business. So today I'm talking about Four Lori Lane, Poughkeepsie, New York. This was a deal that Taylor Berg, if you're watching this, he decided to JV with me on this, which just means joint venture, so partner together on a per deal basis. So he brought me the house and he said, hey man, I think this is a home run. Let's wholesale this thing together. Let's chop it right down the middle of the profit. And I said, let's play ball. Let's play ball, kid. Let's rock and roll. So we got the property under contract. I bet you he probably got it from a cold call. I really don't know where he found the deal, but I'm assuming it was a cold call because that's what he's really good at. Anyway, got the property for $100,000, which in Poughkeepsie is unbelievable because that city is on fire. I don't know why my voice pitched up high there. I apologize. But anyway, got it under contract for $100,000. I sent the attorney a deposit for like 500 bucks or something minuscule. Might have been 100 bucks. I don't even know, but that was... A couple weeks ago now, or a couple months ago, sorry. Anyway, got it under contract for $100,000, and literally this is where the deal made all the money. This is the way that we dispositioned this property was A, the uncomfortable way, and B, the way to get profitable. So I knew this was going to be an absolute smoking, 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 sizzling hot deal. So the way that I structured the disposition, by the way, I never saw this house. I never met the seller in person. I never met the buyer in person. I did the entire deal from San Diego, California, and all I really did was conduct the disposition end, and then the team took care of the rest. So um, this is how we made a bunch of money. At the end of the day, we made $60,000 wholesaling this house. Our profit, our real profit was $60,000, which is a lot more than uh, what most people make on wholesale deals in other areas of the country, mainly because New York is really expensive, so you can make big fees. And B, we bought the house real cheap and we sold it for the maximum top dollar on the wholesale market. So this is how we did it. So I put out an email to my list and I had people like begging for this property. And I put it out at a hundred and I think forty thousand dollars, I think it was one thirty nine nine or something like that. I had like fifteen people just, I need this property, I need this property, I gotta get this property. They were going bananas. What do I need to do to buy this property? And I said, here's the deal. Due to crazy demand. And by the way, if you want to make a lot of money wholesaling, it's all about supply and demand. If you have more demand than you have supply, like this house, you're gonna get rich AF. So I said, here's the deal with all the buyers. I said, there's gonna be a one-time open house. It's gonna be on this day. It's gonna be at this time. You're gonna be able to go inside the property. You're gonna walk around. You're gonna do whatever you gotta do with your contractors and your handymen. And you're gonna leave the property and then you're gonna send me a text message or a phone call or an email with your highest and best offer. And I'm gonna review all the offers and I'm gonna make a decision on a specific day at a specific time. Long story short, we ended up getting $160,000 for this property, uh, obviously, because you know that was the spread we made. So we sold it for 160, put it out for 140. This thing blew over 20,000 asking on the wholesale market, which is crazy because it wasn't even on the MLS. And at the end of the day, Taylor Berg and I chopped down $60,000 50-50. He put 30 in his pocket. I put 30 in my pocket. It was a great deal. It took about a month and a half. I think, no, it took about two months to close. Seller had to move out and he moved over to Pennsylvania. And it was a great deal, right? So what are some lessons that uh, you can take from this deal that you can apply in your business? And by the way, this is not every deal. We don't make $60,000 on every wholesale deal. Generally, we make about 30. I think as of this recording right now with the market changing, it's probably gonna go down a little bit, maybe to 25 grand. But at, at the end of the day, as they say, you can't go broke making a profit. So here is the big lesson that I learned. Number one, supply and freaking demand. When you have way, 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 way more buyers interested in your one property, you're gonna be able to have the buyers dictate your, the, you're gonna be able to dictate the terms to the buyer. Hey, Mr. Buyer, we got 10 people interested in this property, as you can imagine, given the price we put it out at. If you want to have an opportunity to buy it, 
we're simply taking it to an auction. It's going to be highest and best. You can walk the property. You can view the property. When you're done seeing the property, you submit an offer. We select the highest and best offer. We anticipate the property is going to go way over ask. And that's how we're playing ball. And when you got a buyer who's motivated and they want the damn property, they're going to comply with your freaking rules. They're not going to give you pushback. They're not going to play favors. They're not going to play any of that bullshit with you. They're going to say, okay, I want the deal. I'm going to play by your rules. And that is the number one lesson that I got from this deal. The second lesson is work with other people in your freaking market. They're not competition. They're collaboration. Taylor made $30,000 splitting the deal with me, which is more than what most people make on a regular wholesale deal doing it on their own because we max this puppy out on the disposition side. So if you're working in a market and you have people who are also doing real estate in your market, don't look at them as competitors. Look at them as collaborators. Collaborators. I don't even know if that's a word. Collaborators. Uh, because a rising tide lifts all ships. I totally stole that from somebody else. I did obviously not make that up. Um, but anyway, don't look at your competition as competition. Look at them as collaboration. Yes, in every market, there are certainly a few pecker heads that no one wants to deal with. In any market, that's going to be in any single area. There's always going to be people you don't want to deal with. But most of the people in your market are going to be cool. I can guarantee that. Um, I got friends in Phoenix and they all do deals together. And there's 10,000 wholesalers in Phoenix. So anyway, I digress. That was a great property. Great learning lesson on that one. It was a very profitable deal for me and Taylor. And if you want to partner with me on a deal like that and you're in the Hudson Valley, well, I got news for you. You can do it. You can JV with me. Email me, greg at velocityhousebuyers.com. If you're in San Diego, I'd love to work with you too. Heck, if you're in Delaware, I'd love to work with you too or three in that case. Uh, so if you got a property in New York, Delaware, or Hudson Valley, that's, I got to be specific, not in upstate New York. That's not my area. If you're in the Hudson Valley, if you're in Delaware, if you're in San Diego, if you want to do a deal with me, whether you wholesale me the deal, we split the wholesale deal together, or I, you know, we rehab it, whatever, hit me up, greg at velocityhousebuyers.com. I'll see you on the next video.